guys welcome 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 back this is cookie with auntie there guys and for today's video i'm going to be making a cream cheese sweet potato pie y'all never made one of these before i've made sweet potato pies but not a cream cheese sweet potato pie they say it's pretty good so you know i want to test it out and have something new for thanksgiving something different and so these are my ingredients that i'll be using you know eggs and these are my three sweet potatoes i've already washed them off I'm gonna oil them down a little bit and I'm gonna pop them in my oven. Okay, so that they can get get done that way. I'm not gonna boil them this time. And then, you know, of course, you know, your little seasonings and things that you need, but I'm gonna show you all of my ingredients as I go. Okay, guys, so let me get my sweet potatoes oiled down and placed in my, my baking pan here so that I can put it in the oven and get them cooked. Okay, guys, so I'll be right back. Thanks for joining me. Our sweet potatoes are oiled down and ready to be popped into the oven. Okay, guys, we let it sit there for maybe 45 to an hour to take them out. Okay, guys, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, while our potatoes are baking in the oven, I decided to go ahead on and let's get our cream cheese layer together. Okay, guys, so you're going to need eight ounces of cream cheese. Now, if you get the one that's in the box, this is only six ounces, okay? So I had to add another two ounces. So I have this is six ounces here, and I'm gonna take two more ounces off of this, okay? So let's see here. I'll cut about this much off. Okay, and this is going to make us have our eight ounces. Okay, I'm gonna put this back in our box for later. Okay, okay guys so you know when I moved to Vegas I totally forgot that I had had a mixer a standing mixer so I just went through some stuff and uncovered it so I decided to use it today okay so what I'm going to do is to Okay guys, so first what we're going to do, we're going to mix our cream cheese and our sugar up together first, okay? And then we add in, oh, and for the sugar amount is a fourth cup of sugar. And then you're gonna need one egg and you're gonna need some, some orange zest, okay? Just a little orange zest, zest, zest orange zest, okay? Talking too fast, so I'm getting tight tongue here. So I am looking for my, should have had everything out already. I apologize for that. Okay, bam. Looking for my little string, okay? Okay, so now we have all our ingredients that we need to make our layered cream cheese, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add in, the first I'm gonna cut this on. Okay guys, so now let's get it started here. We're gonna first add in our, our cream cheese and our sugar. We're gonna add that in together first, okay? So I'm gonna put, this is two ounces of my cream cheese. Come on, get off, get off, get off. Okay, and then we have, the, <clears throat> this is the other part, this is six, six ounces. The, the, the small packages are six ounces, okay? So we're gonna put this in here, then we're gonna add in our sugar with it. Let me get a spoon. Okay, I'm gonna just add this so I'm gonna put this down in here, okay? And I'm gonna try to scrape off as much as I can because there's still a lot left on this packet here, okay? Because it actually wasn't a full six ounces because my son had used maybe about a tablespoon of it, okay? But yeah, I don't think that would make too much of a difference. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna get this all off of here like so. And I'm just gonna put all of this in here. Okay, you want to start off with your mixture on you on low. That way you get that way you're staying control of it. Okay. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna set this down. Okay, I keep trying to take off all the sour cream on my hands, but my goodness, I keep finding more. Okay, so we're gonna put that down. We're gonna put it on low. We'll start off on low. Okay guys, now for my measurements, I use a fourth cup of sugar. 
I used an eight ounce, um, eight ounces of my cream cheese, which was one pack of six ounces, and I added two more ounces to that. I added in one egg and one teaspoon of orange zest. I didn't really measure out my orange zest. I just kind of eyeballed it, okay guys? cream cheese layer is nice and fluffy and it's ready so next what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this to the side and wait for my potatoes to get done now when you're making this type of, of pie you need to have deep dish pie crust okay guys and this is what I have right here I have the Marie Cavender's deep dish pie crust and this is what you're going to need to make your sweet potato layer pie with the cream cheese, okay? They come in twos, and it costs about five or six dollars or so. But I actually wanted to get, um, oh, there's another brand that I can't think of now that I normally, uh, Pillsbury. I wanted a Pillsbury uh, pie crust, but I couldn't find it. So Marie Calendar was the only other deep dish that they had, okay? So I'm sure they all work the same. So what I may do once my potatoes get done, I may put this in the oven for a few minutes because I want the bottom to be, you know, I want the bottom to be well done. So I may put that in there for a minute and then take it out and then continue on the process. Okay guys, so once the potatoes are ready, I'll be right back to show you the rest. Okay guys, our potatoes are still in, but our, uh, our pie crust is ready. I just let it stay in there for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna put in the bottom layer. Ooh, nice and, ooh y'all, this is gonna be good, 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 good. So next, I just have to, you know, maybe I should have cut my potatoes up instead of just leaving them whole. But I, I just, you know, I was a little busy. So, I mean, they're still a hard. Yes, I might speed up that process. Okay, guys, give me a minute so I can show you about putting our cream cheese bottom layer into our pie crust. Okay, so okay. now that I've taken my pie crust out of the oven, next we're going to add in our bottom layer which is our cream cheese layer okay and guys you want to make sure that you whip it enough to make it uh to make sure all the lumps are gone i still have like a few little small lumps which i think is okay will be okay but other than that you want it to be nice and fluffy you want it to be nice and fluffy guys okay and you just want to spread it around this is your bottom layer okay so once my once our potatoes are ready then I'll show you what I put into it and we will mix that up okay guys so now it's the waiting game waiting on those potatoes I 
Okay, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Finally, finally, finally. Our potatoes are completely baked. Okay, guys. So they're still a little hot. Ooh. My goodness. I can't even lift it. Ooh. Okay, our potatoes are still hot. So now we're going to peel them. We're going to peel them, guys. And then we're going to put them into our bowl and add in our other ingredients to make the sweet potato to go on top, okay? Ooh, lordy, this thing is nice and hot. Can y'all see the smoke coming off? Y'all see the heat coming off of that potato? I'm just gonna cut the tip off. Okay guys, so now that I have my two baked potatoes, into my uh, my standing pan here. Next, I have to add in my ingredients, which it calls for um, a third, a two thirds cup of our um, two thirds cups of our half and half. Okay, so we're gonna start off with that. We're gonna put a half and half into our potatoes, and we're gonna mix that up. Pop this down, and then we're gonna put it on low. Okay. I'm gonna put that on low. Then next we're going to add in our brown sugar, which is a half cup of brown sugar. And then we're also going to put in a half teaspoon of brown ginger. And we're going to need a fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. You know, a little pinch of salt and an egg. And we're gonna need some orange zest in this as well. Okay guys, so while that's mixing, we're just gonna add in our ingredients. Okay, and this is the half teaspoon of our ginger, okay? Our zest into our uh, sweet potato pie. Look, look, I've never put zest in there before, but I'm going to put this in this, okay? And then, young, you, you can't forget your salt. It says about an eighth, eighth, uh, about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Just take a, a couple pinches of salt and just put it in there, and I think that'll be suffice, okay? For that. Okay, now we're gonna do our zest. Ready. We have all of our ingredients. We have all our ingredients that we need to add into our sweet potato pie. So now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna 
pour this on top, okay? Try not to disturb the bottom part. That's why I had to let it sit out to get a little stiff in a little bit, you know. So I'm gonna put this in here like this. Okay, let's see. I still have some potato left. Yeah, three would have definitely been too much. Definitely been too much. Okay guys, I maybe could put a little more, a little more in there. And then it, it didn't call for no butter either, so maybe because of the uh, the cream cheese. So the only thing, the only difference that I went, that I did not follow directly of the ingredients is I added in a little bit, uh, like a half of a teaspoon of vanilla, of vanilla flavoring. But other than that, I followed it to the tea. Okay guys? So now we're gonna pop this in the oven. You're gonna cook it for about an hour, okay? So once it's done, then I'm gonna be back and show you what it's looking like in the end, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, it's been three and a half hours of it chilling in the refrigerator. So now is the time to cut it open and see what it looks like, guys. So let me cut you up a piece, guys. So there you have it. I think we have a winner here, guys. I really do. But now, I have to put it through the taste test. My number one fan is gonna give it a taste and he's gonna be honest about it. No. That's good right there, that's good right there. Okay guys, you heard it first. It's my number one fan here. Apparently it is, it's almost gone y'all. Guys, if you enjoyed yourself with me today and if you like how I do what I do, when I do what I do, subscribe to channel don't just watch me subscribe come on guys subscribe to my channel share my channel with your family and friends guys and until next time bye